Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. You know who it is. It is your boy, TDW, the delivery whiz of Las Vegas. It is Tuesday, August 20th, 2024. And again, I had to step away for a few days. We went to the open practice at Raider Stadium last Wednesday. And I thought there was only going to be a few thousand people. Anyways, there was 25,000 people. And I believe I caught a cold, flu, and I was down Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and yesterday. And today, we're back. That's right, we're back today with another episode of Las Vegas Gig Life. But today's video, again, is going to be different than any ride-along. We are going to talk about a few topics that affect all of us in the gig world. And yes, some other gig tubers beat me to this. They came out the day of and reported on this or made a video. Boo-hoo, it's not from your boy, the delivery whiz, and it's not from Las Vegas. So their market is different, but it's not really. Anyhow, let's move on. The first topic of discussion, and there's two topics in this category, DoorDash. First one, they have changed the final payment screen on the app at least here in Vegas. I haven't seen anybody say anything about this. In the past, you used to click complete and then you would see the final payment, base pay and tip separated. So then you could just look at your phone real quick and say, okay, you know, if you are any anticipating a goose egg, there wasn't much to see there. If it was one of those with a plus and you were eager to see how much it paid, you could see it right away. But lately, or at least of last week or the week before, when you complete here in Vegas, and maybe this is everywhere across the United States, I don't know. I only deliver in Las Vegas. It just shows you the completed amount. Then you have to click a little arrow to go down, and then you see the breakdown of it there. It's not really much of a difference. It's just one extra step, and you don't get to see the breakdown without dropping down that little arrow menu thing. Let me know in the comments below if you like that or not and if you really care or not. And now we're gonna move on to the next major change to DoorDash was an update to the Dasher Rewards program. And I know you probably, or at least most of you tuning in, probably already know this information and have or seen another GigTuber do it, but I'm gonna cover it anyway. First, they sent out a mass email to all the Dashers and it was titled, Updates to Dasher Rewards Program. And Blah, da, 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 da. We made updates to the Dasher Rewards program in your area. Effective today, scroll down to see the latest and unlock perks instantly. And as we scroll down, we see there's not really any major changes to the first couple categories, at least nothing to really mention. Then we scroll down to priority access to Dash Now. Now you will be first in line to start dashing when Dash Now is available in your area. So, if it's not available, you don't get to Dash Now. Which, to me, what? So, before they even came out with the Dasher Reward Program, they had the Top Dasher, and I don't even know how long they had that. Maybe I got in when they had already ran that for a while and then ran its course until they changed it to this Dasher Rewards program. So on the old Top Dasher program, all you had to do is 100 deliveries a month and keep the ratings that are very similar to the Platinum Rewards or are the same exact ratings. And then for a month, you got Top Dasher anytime you wanted. You didn't have to do it again the next month if you didn't want to, but you could utilize it for 30 days, which was nice. And you could do it at your own pace. This rolling system is kind of jacked up because it's affected me where I forgot the previous month I did 16 deliveries on a day and then I wake up and I'm all the way down to silver or gold or whatever nonsense I got. Now I'm down to silver because I don't even care, but that's a topic for another time. So now you have to do all this stuff and now you will be first in line if Dash Now is available, it may not even be available. And some will say, Eric, why do you care if it's gray? Do you really want to Dash Now? Yes, sometimes when you're multi-apping to be able to Dash Now, and even if you don't get any orders, it's okay. You're still in there, and you will still get some even when it's gray. 
they will still give you an offer. Okay, so just because it's gray doesn't mean you're never going to get an offer. It's just slower. And I agree. Maybe you don't want to get in there. That's fine. But for me here in Vegas market, it's handy because you're going to multi-app with Uber Eats, Instacart, Rideshare, like I've said, Lyft, Uber, and, uh, you know, DoorDash, Grubhub, the skip cart, whatever you have, you want to have them all going. So this to me is a terrible change and something that I think is going to uh, uh, distract, not distract, deject or, or change people's minds on if they want to do DoorDash full time and try to keep the ratings high enough just to be able to be first in line to Dash Now. And let's Rewind my experience as a top dasher, not a top dasher, a platinum dasher since it came out because I had it for the first month and a half. So I didn't see any priority on giving me higher paying offers. So how am I supposed to believe that this is going to be the end all beat all to dash now? It's not. So I think this is a terrible direction for DoorDash and dashers. It is not in our best interest for this. Our best interest is to be able to dash now and schedule what we want by doing exactly what we wanted or what they wanted us to do before, which was 100 deliveries and all these ratings and you got it no matter what. Even when the zone was gray, you could dash now. And now they're going away from that. And my opinion is there's too many dashers. They have saturated the market with dashers to cover their behinds, to make sure that those low paying offers get delivered because I'm not going to deliver them and I hope you're not going to deliver them either. So they need new blood in there thinking that they have to get all these ratings and keep them to have a chance to dash now and a chance for higher paying offers, which does not guarantee anything. Put the words guarantee in there and maybe I'll think about it. But for right now, my days of trying to manipulate this in my favor to keep the platinum rewards done I'm not doing it I show you my stats and I don't have to you guys know I always tell the truth I'm down to like 27 deliveries for the last 30 days 68% acceptance and all the other ratings are okay but I don't care anymore it's so much easier to jump on uber eats and uber rideshare at the same time and I can decline and take whatever I want when I want with no with no rhyme or reason to have, worry about oh my god I, I gotta take this one because I'm gonna fall below 70% and I hope that you guys analyze this too and make a good decision for yourself, which is what I would say. Just start cherry picking until they change it back to where it's more controlled by us, where I can do 100 a month with the ratings and keep Top Dasher and Dash Now anytime I want. Because realistically, these high paying offers, where, when, how, who gets them, what's deciding that, how many Platinum Dashers are in the area, that's what they should show you. How many Platinum Dashers are in the zone that you're working right now so you can kind of get a feel what kind of competition you're dealing with and if you even want to stay out at that point. Anyhow, that is that. Make your own mind up. I've made mine up. And let's move along to the next topic. The next topic is, this is the creme de la creme. <laughs> this, this is absolutely <clears throat> the worst real-time offer this Dasher driver, Spark driver, Uber Eats driver, Gig driver, delivery driver, whatever I am, has gotten in two years. And I have to share it with you guys. And I hope that you pass it along to all your friends because this is hilarious. And I'm just going to say that I don't know if this is some type of glitch in the system or whatever, but this really hit my phone. And it's from Walmart Spark. Okay, drum roll. Blah, blah, Walmart Spark. Okay, turn it on driving around and then all of a sudden here it comes bam look at this puppy two stops 2384.4 miles 29 hours and 39 minutes for the grand total of ten dollars they wanted someone to go to bean station tennessee and pick something up to return it to the tropical parkway uh, store 2884 just behind me north about five miles in Centennial Hills for a return one, one item 
I can't help laughing because this is just crazy. How did this happen? How did they let this get out? I, they have the line drawn all the way across there and for $10. Okay, it's probably going to cost you about, you know, $1,000 in gas to get there and back just to make $10. And it's one item. I mean, isn't there UPS or FedEx or somebody they can drop a return receipt label to and just ship it back if it really has to come back here? I, I don't know. I just found this was pretty hilarious, everyone, and I had to share it with you because I always am curious, what are the just most god-awful uh, offers that people ever get? And that's why I do the little shorts on uh, Just Don't Do It because I get some pretty heinous things from Instacart, Rody, and uh, even Uber Eats. The, the, they all have some out there. <laughs> They're funny. So, I hope you enjoyed me sharing this with you. And just like that, it's the end of today's video. I know it's a little different than the ride-alongs I do or sharing how much I make in an hour or whatever, blah, 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 blah. But, new final pay screen on DoorDash. New updates to Dasher Rewards, which I think stink, and I hope that you think stink. I don't think they are were needed changes. I think the way they had it was fine, but now they've made it worse in my opinion, and then this god awful, <laughs> maybe an accidental glitch in the system, offer from Walmart Spark to yours truly to go, you know, a round trip <laughs> like 3,000 miles for $10. If you like today's video, please leave a thumbs up, get us in the algorithm as always, and you know what I'm going to say next, please, 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 just don't take the 3,000 mile offer for $10 from Walmart Spark. I'm not going to do it. I suggest that you guys don't do it. So say it with the whiz. You just don't do it. I'll see you guys next time.